What up, what up, what up? It's your boy JB coming at you live and direct, man, and y'all know what it is. It's the Smoke Something, Drink Something podcast, and this is the man I wish I had a cigar segment. Y'all do me a favor, man. Look below in the description. Get the merch, support the channel. Y'all can even see the Patreon information over there, man, if you want to go get some of that exclusive footage, some of the bonus footage, man. But, man, we're going to jump right into this thing. The message or the messenger which one is the most important to you? Man, I saw this article that got sent to me a while ago, a couple weeks ago, maybe a couple weeks ago. And it was Antonio Brown who owns this arena football team. And it was this security guard that didn't recognize Antonio Brown as being the owner of the team. And the reason I'm doing this topic, the message or the messenger, is because what I'm realizing is some of y'all have decided that y'all know how a certain person is supposed to look or how a certain person is supposed to act. And that's what you will determine if you're going to see him as an owner, see him as a person of authority. And y'all done got caught up in the messenger instead of the message. So why am I saying this to you guys? Oftentimes, a lot of people are missing out on opportunities because the person who's giving you what you need to hear does not look like what you thought they would look like. The person who could get you to the next level in life does not look like what you thought they would look like. Why am I asking about the message or the messenger? Some of y'all have decided that only certain messengers can give you certain messages. And here's the problem, guys, with that. Everybody who you've determined can give you a message, may not have the knowledge or the information that you need to help you out of your situation or to get you to the next level. At the end of the day, guys, I'm not going to call a personal injury attorney for a divorce case. Yeah, he's an attorney, but he's the wrong messenger. And if I still go forward with him, he's going to give me the wrong message. I'm not going to call a volleyball coach to help me get better at football. Yeah, are they both athletes? Absolutely. But at the end of the day, guys, I can't sit here and tell people information if I'm not the person qualified to do it. But if you have determined that I look like somebody you want to receive from, guys, you've messed up. And a lot of you guys are not being message focused, you're being messenger focused. This is why a lot of y'all are falling short. This is why a lot of y'all are getting wrong information. I learned a long time ago to listen to the people with the right message. Don't look for the messenger and then look for the message. That's where a lot of us are getting messed up, guys. And you got to understand that when this security guard decided he was going to try to check Antonio Brown, Antonio Brown didn't look like what he thought was an owner. Antonio Brown didn't look like what he thought would be the person walking on the field, shaking hands and engaging with fans. And what he needs to do, he because he woke up the next day without a job, guys, because he ended up letting people know that he didn't look like what I thought an owner should look like, and now he woke up unemployed. And that's what you guys gotta start recognizing because a lot of y'all are messing up in life and a lot of y'all are falling short in life because you're looking for a messenger and you've determined who your messenger is gonna be and they are giving you the wrong message. They are allowing you to look at situations all wrong. Pay attention to the message. The right message always is gonna come from the right messenger. Stop trying to control what package or what outer suit that messenger is going to have and determine if you decide you're going to listen to their message. And that's what you're going to find, guys. A lot of sheep, right? It's a wolves in sheep's clothing. You guys have heard that cliche, right? It's a wolf in sheep's clothing. And a lot of people already know what type of messenger you want to hear from. And that's how they can scam you because you're messenger based and not message based. So I hope that after listening to this video, you guys understand that this type of this topic was just so you could understand. Don't get caught up in the messenger. Always listen to the message. The message is what produces fruit. The message is what produces results. The message is what produces success, not the messenger. So stop trying to be so tongue. So stop, 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 stop trying to have so much tunnel vision on who you think you should listen to and limiting yourself to who you think you should listen to. There's a lot of messages out there. The problem is not the message. The problem is you determine who you want the messenger to be. And y'all know what it is, man. It's the Smoke Something, Drink Something podcast. Man, I wish I had a cigar segment. 
and I'm The Real Cigar Jeff. You can find me on Instagram at The Real Cigar Jeff. You can find me on uh, Facebook at Smoke Something, Drink Something Podcast. Of course, you're watching this on YouTube. If you hadn't already, smash that subscribe button, hit that like button, turn on that bell for notifications so you keep getting alerted every time we place a video out there, man. Do me a favor, look below in the description. Support the channel, get the merch. Head over there to our Patreon channel for exclusive footage and bonus content, man. And until next time, we gonna holler.